No, I'm absolutely delighted. I don't want them. <laughs> I don't want. I didn't really do them for myself, you know. I mean, I, I, it's funny. It's a funny thing, that, isn't it? You know, you um, you do these things. It's a bit like acting. You'll be sit, be like sitting at home and watching the things you're in over and over again. That would be very, very odd, um, slightly worrying, and a little bit. <laughs> so I'm, you know, I'm delighted that. In some cases, people I have no idea who they are have bought them, um, and, and I'll never see them again. As long as they're up on the wall, I, I don't mind. Yeah, I, I am. I'm compelled to, 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 do, to go there, really. I'm a bit scared of it as well, because the sea is quite terrifying. But it is magnificent, you know, and it, it, it's alive. You know, it really is a living thing, like the sky. Um, those things are the bigger than us. And the two things I have in common is they're bigger than us, vaster than us, they're unexplainable, and they do exactly what they like. Can't tell them what to do. <laughs> They do what they like, and then they make wonderful shapes that somehow connect us directly to the earth. Because I think as human beings, we're always spending so much time thinking we're humans, we're not part, you know. So it, when you, I sort of always feel that somehow, you know, insignificance is the wrong word, because we're not. It's just, we're all part of the same thing, you know. So I couldn't make up my mind whether I was going to be a surrealist or a tank driver. Now, they're not mutually exclusive. You can be a surrealist tank driver, but you've got to concentrate. All right? So I did the um, school play, and then my drama teacher, Helena Mietz, who was brilliant, um, said, I've never said this to any of my pupils before, but I think you should be an actor. So, so whatever evolutionary branches were going to go, the tank driver went that way, <laughs> the artist went that way, and the actor went that way. And that's the tree I've been mainly growing in since that point. But the seed, I don't, I'm way too old to be a tank driver, unless we're gonna have a terrible war and later they're gonna call up people in their late 60s. <laughs> uh, I never got to drive a tank. Um, and I'm, you know, um, probably, um, you know, gonna stay as an actor, but the seed, so that seed died, the tank driver. I would have been a terrible soldier, but the artist's seed started to grow when I played Mr. Turner. And then it grew and then it stopped and shriveled <laughs> because I thought, well, I'm playing a genius. And I painted quite a lot to him. I had a great artist whose work is on show downstairs to teach me. Um, so, and then I left it for a bit and then I played Lowry. Uh, Ellis Lowry, one of our great, other great, in a very different way. And then I started painting a lot without tuition, without anything, just during it. And then that's when I stopped painting for a bit. And then I thought I'd try painting with acrylics, which these mostly are. And then I started painting, neither like Turner nor Lowry. And I thought, well, who's that look like then? And I come to the conclusion that that's how I paint. 